Welcome back students. This is the session 5 from the chapter of friction and this is the Q&A session and uh, I have taken one question uh, from uh, one of the of my reference book. Uh, the question is the block of 20 kg is placed over a 50 kg block as uh, shown in this figure. This is a block A which is of uh, uh, 50 kg and this is a block B which is kept over uh, so this is a 20 kg block which is kept over this 50 kg block. Now uh, a horizontal force F is applied on this block A which causes an acceleration of 3 meter per second square to this block A and, uh, and, and uh, 2 meter per second square acceleration to the block B. And the direction of the motion is indicated by these two arrows. So the block is the force is applied in this direction to the block A of 50 kg and because of this applied force the acceleration which is developed in the block A is 3 meter per second square and the acceleration which is developed in the block B is 2 meter per second square. This uh, surface is a smooth that is the coefficient of friction will be equal to 0 and this is a rough surface. So here there will be some uh, uh, some uh, a frictional force which will uh, um, you know, so we have to basically find here two things one is the force applied on the block A and while we will be um, calculating the value of force we will be able to find the value of the force of friction also. Now uh, first of all here we have to understand what is friction. So friction jo hai basically friction is is a force which opposes the relative motion is a force which opposes the relative motion between the two objects. Now the meaning of this is that that uh, 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 the definition is the friction is a force which opposes the relative motion between the two objects or the two bodies. That is if I apply a force on this body A okay, then the force of friction will try to um, uh, oppose the motion of uh, this body uh, by applying a force in the opposite direction. And this force of friction will, uh, if I am just taking the case of this example, that this force of friction, the, the force of friction is acting between the surface of this block A and block B because this is a rough surface. This is a smooth surface. So here the force of friction will be equal to zero. Here the uh, surface is rough. Therefore, there will be some force of friction. Now this force of friction, this force of friction at the surface of A and B will uh, try to move both these blocks together that is if the block a is moving in this direction because the force is applied in this direction then it will try to uh, bring back this block in the uh, to, uh, in the this in the backward direction and since the force of friction will try to move both these blocks together so what will happen the same force of friction will apply on this block B in the forward direction. That is, in this case, in this example, in this case, the force of friction, say F, small f, will, the force of friction between between the block uh, A and B 
you in uh, in in this example the force of friction that is the force of friction will be acting at the surface of a and b at this surface okay because this surface is rough so the in this case the force of friction um at the surface the force of friction at the surface of a and b that is the block a and b will will try to move both the blocks together now because of this applied force the acceleration in the block a is 3 meter per second square and the acceleration in the block b is 2 meter per second square now uh, this force of friction as per this definition that is this force of friction will try to move these blocks together that is uh, this for the, the force of friction will act in the backward direction for the block a and it will act in the forward direction in the block uh, in the uh, and it will act in the forward direction for the block b because the this uh, the acceleration of this block a is 3 meter per second square and the acceleration of the block b is 2 meter uh, per second square so this block is getting is being left behind this block is uh, is left behind because the acceleration of a is more than that of b so because this block is is getting left behind therefore the force of friction will act in the forward direction so that both these blocks move together now for the block a since the block is moving in this forward direction and because the force of friction will try to move both these blocks together so for this block a the force of friction will act in the backward direction so it means that if i am writing it here that is f will act in the forward direction f will act in the forward direction for the block b that is this force of friction will act in is in this direction that is in this direction so that um, uh, so that these two blocks move together and for this block a this force of the same force of friction will act in the backward direction because the force of friction opposes the relative motion so when since the block is moving in this dot on this because this block uh, the acceleration of this block a is 3 meter per second square in this direction so this block is being left behind since the force of friction will try to move both these blocks together so the force of friction for the block b will be in the forward direction now since the block a is moving forward and it is being left behind so therefore the force of friction will act in the backward direction for the block a okay so the f that is the force of friction will act in the backward direction so that both these uh, two blocks move together so now based on uh, these uh, uh, these conclusions you can say uh, we will be now deriving a couple of equations in order to find the value of this force applied and the value of friction also they have they have not asked the value to calculate the value of friction but nevertheless we will be able to find the value of friction also so let us say this the force of friction at this surface is f i have already denoted here by small f so uh, what is the net force on a what will be the value of the net force on a net force on a 
this will be equal to the force applied in this direction minus the force of friction which will be acting in the backward direction this is the net force f minus f in the in the direction of arrow that is the net force which will be acting on this block a will be f minus f in this direction that is in the direction of this arrow and the uh, on this block on this block there is only one force acting that is the force of friction this force of friction will try to move both these blocks together so the force of friction will act in the forward direction that is in this direction so for, what is the force of friction the force of friction is equal to mu into the normal reaction now normal reaction is what normal reaction is equal to the c for this surface for this surface the normal reaction is will be acting this is the normal reaction and this will be equal to m into g now m for now for this surface the value of m is what it is 20 kg for this surface so it is 20 into g if i take the value of g as 10 meter per second square then n will be equal to 200 newtons okay so uh, this is how we, uh, we we can calculate the force of friction okay force of friction is equal to mu n and the normal reaction for this surface is equal to 200 newton now now f minus f this is the net force which is acting on this body and this will be equal to the mass of this body into the acceleration that is mass is 50 kg and the acceleration which is produced in this body is 3 meter per second square now f minus f is equal to 150 this is the first equation which i have got the second equation f that is the force of friction which will drive this block b in the forward direction is equal to f is equal to again force of friction is equal to mu n and this is also equal to a mass into acceleration so this is equal to now the mass of this body is 20 the acceleration produced is 2 meter per second square so this is equal to 40 newtons okay so the value of the force of friction is equal to 40 newtons and uh, uh, so what I will now do is, I will just uh, so uh, now I will be substitute this uh, value of f in this equation number one. So f minus forty is equal to one hundred and fifty. So it implies that the applied force will be equal to 190 newtons so in this case the value of this applied force f is equal to 190 newtons so our correct option is c first thing but apart from this what we have uh, what we were able to find we were able to find the force of friction also the value of the force of friction is equal to 40 newton now force of friction is also equal to mu n so mu n is equal to 40 newton now normal reaction is how much normal reaction is equal to uh, for this uh, for this block b the normal reaction is equal to m into g m is 20 into g i have taken the value of g as 10 meter per second square so the value of n is equal to 200 newton so it implies that mu which is the coefficient of friction this will be equal to 40 divided by n n is equal to 200 so the coefficient of friction is equal to 1 by 5 that is equal to 40 divided by 200 it implies that the coefficient of friction is equal to 1 by 5 which is equal to 0.2 so 
the uh, applied force on this block A is equal to 190 Newton. The force of friction is equal to 40 Newtons. And we have, were also able to find the coefficient of friction that is equal to 0.2. Okay. So this is how this question uh, can be. The question is very easy here. The only concept which you have to uh, see. Uh, learning a definition, the learning the definition of, of uh, this friction is very easy, but uh, utilizing the concepts in uh, these sort of equations is very, very important. Here, what we have applied the concept is that the force of friction opposes the relative motion means that if this block is moving in this forward direction, then the force of friction will act in the backward direction for this block A. Now, because this block, uh, the acceleration of this block is 3 meter per second square and the acceleration of this block is 2 meter per second square. So, this block B is getting left behind. So, the what the force of friction, it opposes a relative motion and it will try to move both these blocks together. So, the force of friction will act in the forward direction for the block B. The same force of friction will act in the forward direction for the block B. And so, and that force of friction will produce this acceleration. So, using these concepts, we were able to find the value of this applied force. We were also able to find the value of the force of friction. And we were also able to find the uh, value of the coefficient of friction. So, thank you very much for this session. And we, uh, in the session, in the session number six, I will be coming up with some similar questions. And uh, till then, have a nice day. Bye.